I'll bet you most of you are still in bed at the time of this recording. If that's all right, you'll be awake soon, and it'll be waiting for you. Oh, insomnia, man. Don't know what's going on with that. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes I get lazy, man. I knew yesterday, uh, my final cup of coffee, that that was it. There was no more left. But did I go to the store and get more? No, I did not. Because I found something on my food stock shelf that I thought would save me a trip to town. Boy, was that a mistake. Oh. I'm telling you what, guys, whoever thought of this idea, I, I want to know what rocket scientist come up with this idea. Because I got to explain what this tastes like to you. Imagine wearing the same clothes for two weeks, never taking them off. And finally, it's laundry day. You've had enough. You're all, they're sticking to your clothes. And you get down, you get everything off, and you get down to your socks. And you got to take a butter knife and peel them dudes off the bottoms of your feet. Because they're stuck to your feet. They've been on there so long. And then you go to the bathroom and you're out of toilet paper. You take one of them socks and you wipe your butt with it. There ain't nothing else to use. Now you got abrasions up in there. You need first aid. You take the other sock, put some salve on it, and do what you got to do. But then, you get some coffee. You're out of coffee filters, so you get that same sock. And you put coffee in it. And you make yourself some coffee. Well, that's what this tastes like. And I'm still drinking it. I guess being in the army, you learn, you know, make the best of it. It is what it is. Drink it anyway. You'll like it. No. Oh, that's terrible, man. But it probably doesn't help. It says here on the bottom, best used before, I don't know if you can see. November 5th, 2020. So these are these are COVID copies. Uh, I guess they figure everybody had COVID. You couldn't taste it anyway. I don't even know if that's still on the shelf. I, I think a subscriber sent me that. And if that's the case, they was expired when I got them. So. Well, if you just noticed that the video jumped... Maybe the background changed a little bit. Yeah, I had a whole video done. And what we were doing was products that had flopped in the past. New Coke, Burger King French fries. So, but when I added the other screen where I take you to the computer, I failed to add the microphone. So, we're not doing that again. Oh, it went too long anyway. That would have been a 24-minute long video. Way too long, but it would have been good. <sighs> That's what that coffee has got me doing already. It's too early for this. I don't need technical difficulties. Did you check out the video on the other channel yesterday where I tell you that I've lost weight? I'm sure you might have noticed. Maybe not. I'm not all there yet. i got a long way to go. But that video's up put a link in it in the description so to go check it out some of you may just watch in the morning and that's it i don't know what you do i'm not your babysitters i i uh, let me get another drink of this uh, foot juice uh. and not only does it taste bad it stinks too It's like when you, when you know, your bathroom trash can. When you take out the bag that's in the trash can, you're going to change it. It smells like the bottom of that. 
tastes like it too. Oh. Oh. So last night I was watching a video. Uh, we see what's happening around the country uh, with our cities, how, how terrible the homeless problem is, L.A., people living on the sidewalks, everywhere in their vehicles. In this video, the guy was in Denver, and he was on an e-bike, and he was, you know, you've seen them videos. They're going around showing all the skid rows and homeless people, and, and he drove by my old apartment building. I used to live in downtown Denver. I, I haven't lived in Denver since 2000, January, or no, wait a minute, March of 2000s when I left Denver. And, man, I'm, you know, when I worked at the Denver Post, there was times I remember walking home from work. It was a pretty good jog, but I was into that. Uh, I did not have a, me, me and my roommate, he was also a pressman at the Denver Post. We lived in a high rise. Um, in downtown Denver on the first floor I know and he was Polish and that was the joke at the paper only a Polak would live would uh, live in the first floor in a high-rise it was convenient though I got stories about that place so anyway he he's driving by and I recognize you know I even seen the very apartment I lived in and it's just full of tents and homeless people I remember walking home 2, 3 in the morning from work. Never seen a homeless person. Never had a problem. They all lived down by the Coors Stadium. Uh, you went over that way, you would encounter them, but you didn't, you didn't see them like you do now. And Denver has went to hell in a handbasket. I ain't kidding you. Uh, the prices. I looked up the apartment I lived in. Now, it was 900 a month. In two two thousand, I believe, twenty four hundred a month now for that same apartment, and it ain't they ain't done much to it. Looks like they put new windows in, and that was it. And I I even looked at they had a virtual tour. Looked at my bedroom, same thing. It looks like it still has the same carpeting. Probably does. But <laughs> working as a pressman. You have normally after a shift, you got you got your work uniform. How am I getting? See, I'm getting off on a tangent. I'll do this one just because it applies to that apartment. So anyway, some guys, you know, we wear you work uniforms. You come in in your street clothes. You change. You change back into your street clothes. They got showers. Take a shower. You go home. Some guys don't do that. They leave in what what they worked in. Well, we had this one pressman named old phil well, apparently i was working my buddy was off that night and he came over after his shift which was before mine but he had ink all over his feet and they had this nice carpet all the way in in the lobby in the hallways so when i got off work i see it i'm like oh no and it goes i already knew where it led and sure enough it led right to my door Next morning, they're out there with hands and knees scrubbing that ink off. Oh, but anyway, what are we... But yeah, these cities are getting... Uh, I don't know, man. It's getting bad. I'm glad I don't live in one. Now, Fort Smith, I don't see that. You know, it's a small city. I don't see any of these problems that that are going on in these bigger cities. And I'm sure a lot of it's politics. We're not getting into politics. But there's a lot of bad choices being made. Why are some smaller cities thriving and others are failing like that? You know? So it has to be the leaders. Because, and you go to Fort Smith. Where was I? I was in Fayetteville when I went to the VA to get that thyroid biopsy. They're building everywhere. That place is thriving. You don't see homeless people. So you can't tell me that that can't happen in every other city. But it just doesn't. And it's the way it's run. Um, I don't think we're ever going to change the damage. You know, We're ever going to fix the damage that we're, we're entering in. And it's already here. I don't know. But I don't want to get into that whole discussion here. 
See, I'm winging it right now because I had a whole video done and it was good. But I can't do a voiceover on something like this. It had no sound. Do I have, yeah, I have sound now. I see it bouncing. So now I gotta wing it. But that's what you do when you're a YouTube, whatever I am, YouTuber. I don't know. Rooster's in my chair. I checked my email this morning. I've been thinking of buying a new recliner. I sleep in my recliner. So I checked my email today. There's a company that wants to send me a free recliner, an electric one that lifts my lazy butt out of the chair. But it kind of looks cheesy. So I'm afraid if I have them send it to me and it's cheap, I'm going to have to tell people it's cheap. It, it doesn't look bad. It's the... And one of my pet peeves with recliners, and I actually went, when I bought my end table last week, I sat in some. But the biggest problem they have is the part that flops out where your feet go is either too sh the chair's too short, because I'm six one, or the padding's like that thick. And, you know, after you have them for a month, your, your ankles are into the wood. And that's what's going on with the one I got. It's just worn out. I've had it five, six years. You know, when you're sleeping in them every day, you wear them out quick. So, the pictures on this chair, they it looks that way. Uh, and you can put a pillow down there, you know, but I don't want... How do you ship a recliner? I mean, it's got... It, it probably has to come in pieces. I don't know, but I think I'm going to get it. Because, you know, a lot of my subscribers are older and... And it's 400 bucks, brand new. So, with the lift, has heat and massage. How bad can it be? And it's an American company. That's rare when you get a company sending a YouTuber, they want to do a review. It's usually in China. Uh, I, got, I got an email also about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. About a year and a half, I think. Uh... I got one of them battery power things, you know, the solar power generator. So I get an email from that company. We'd like you to do another video for us. And I'm, I'm cool. I'm going to get another one. They want me to take the same thing. They won't give me nothing. I already did their video. They don't want to give me nothing. They just want me to do a free, just out of the blue. Well, I already gave that one away. I gave that to my father. So the reply to that was, well, can you take the footage of your last video that you made on the product and chop it up and make a new one? What incentive do I have to do something like that? I already got your stuff. I already did what I was obligated to do. No. Didn't even answer. And, uh, man, some of them you just can't satisfy. Some of them are cool as can be. But... I'm pretty picky about what I get. The e-bikes, I'll take an e-bike. I got one coming probably today. But you know I got plans for those. I'm going to give them to the dog rescue to raffle off to make money. Um, I don't ever sell anything. I'd rather give somebody something than to sell it. And that's what I'm going to do with them. And, and a few other, if anything else comes in between that I don't have room for or whatever, I'll take it just for that sole reason. So... Dog rescues never run out of, uh, I mean, they always need money. Always. It's a very expensive endeavor. And you're always begging for money. And you shouldn't have to. That should be federally, state, local funded. But it's not. And if proper laws were in place, we wouldn't need them. Minnesota, you can't find a dog there. You can't go somewhere to the pound and get a dog. They all come from the south. And by the time that they're transported up there. They're already spoken for. And they have tough spay and neuter laws. So it can be done. That, that is one, one thing in their political system. I do agree with. And I've lived up there. I, I spent almost 10 years up in Minnesota. Iowa. Uh, politics are different. Yes they are. But not everything works. Um. 
They should just take all the good ideas, the things that work in different cities, and apply them and have a test city. Take Detroit or something and put all those good ideas and apply them. And see, I guarantee you, it would be paradise. Um, Detroit, I don't think it will ever be a paradise. But it would be much better. Actually, downtown Detroit is pretty nice. That's what these cities do that are in despair. They make their downtowns look nice. You know, you watch the guy, what is that, that Lord Spoda. He goes to all them downtowns. Yeah, I think they changed their channel name. Joe and Nick's Travel Adventure, something like that. Anyway, guys, this is getting long. This was not the video I intended to put out. Maybe I'll have the... go After you do a video like that, you don't want to go back and set all that back up, so... Maybe we'll do that tomorrow because it was pretty fun. I only wish the sound was working, but it wasn't. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. Hey, man, give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Go over to my other channel. Hang out there a little bit. I've got some good stuff there. Happy trails.